What up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to react to the Mule Trailer 1. I know it's a little bit late. I've been busy. Also, it's been surrounded by other really good trailers, such as Aladdin, Pet Cemetery, among other things, and Aquaman. So I wanted to see this because to me, it looks good. You know, it looks good. I haven't watched the official trailer yet, but I just saw Clint Eastwood and I kind of saw like a backstory on just briefly on a preview on a late night show, I believe, and just kind of showing what it was. So let's check this out so I can really get a full synopsis of what this trailer or what this movie is going to be about. Oh. Need help, sir? Oh, uh, officer, hi. You need uh, help? Uh, no, 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 I'm fine, thank you. What do you got there? Uh, well, pecans. I delivering pecans to my niece and Pecans? Syria. Yeah, pecans. She makes the worst pecan pie you've ever tasted. I feel sorry for her husband, but and I feel sorry for the pecans too. <laughs> yeah. Family's the most important thing. Don't do what I did. I put work in front of family. I thought it was more important to be somebody out there than the damn failure I was in my own home. I was a terrible father. Terrible husband. Blew my chance. I didn't deserve forgiveness. This is the last one. So help me God. This is the last one. I'm sorry for everything. Hmm. Looks interesting. Um, I'm not too sure about the dynamic of this, meaning that I'm not sure if Clint Eastwood is the mule or is he like a, a retired FBI that's just back in, you know, undercover. I'm not too sure. You went got Bradley Cooper for this. Bradley Cooper right now is the most bankable Hollywood actor right now. And I know he's already getting that Oscar buzz with the Star is Born. So yeah, he's, yeah, he's on the roll right now. He's definitely on the roll. Clint Eastwood, you know, especially with his films, it's always designed just for him. And I really like that about his films. You know, like when he writes and, and directs a movie, it's primarily Clint Eastwood-esque. You know, it's like all all the movies that he always makes, it's just centered around him. And, you know, it's really gritty and I like that. I hope to see, although Clint Eastwood is old as shit, I want to see that classic standoff Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood needs to shoot a couple people in this movie. Like, I would like that. I still want to get that, get off my lawn. I want one of those. Like, I'm like, he needs to shoot somebody in this movie. That's just how I am. But it's a, I like it because I'm like, yeah, old, a old man muling dope for a cartel, you know, as the best disguise as you can. You know, as an old guy, police isn't going to pull over an old guy, you know, driving a truck. It's just typical. He looks like he's a retiree and yeah, like it works until, you know, you get wind of what you're doing and, you know, it looks like his, you know, you might be losing a house or something like that. So he results to muling, muling dope for the cartel. I mean, 
I like that. I want to see where that goes. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to really check this out in the movies. I'm going to wait just because there's so much going on in November and December that I'm probably not going to be able to get to this. I'm definitely going to be checking out reviews on this. So if it's good, I definitely might head to the movies. If it's bad, then yeah, hey, I'll catch it when, it's, when it comes out on DVD or Netflix or what have you. So yeah. So if you enjoyed my reaction to The Mule, Post a comment down below, like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. It is your boy, D. Dyson. Peace.